All right, let's get started. So I kind of want this layout. You have a uh, interesting layout. Well, this is with the old dragon, but um, yeah. I would, do I want female? I think I might go female, and I want the pigtails, just for um. Can I change my bust? Ooh, that's a. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think. All right. Okay. So, what my name should be. I'll make it... Does that work? Alright, it's taken. I think my other account took it. Alright, we're in. I have played very recently. And the only reason why is just so I can eliminate all the n unnecessary bullshit. Okay, so, because this HUD is very lame, I will be changing it to something that we're all familiar with, both 07 and RS2 players. We're gonna go down into the legacy, toggle the first and the second one, and we're done. Now I'm gonna go into the ability bar because that was a little strange. It gave me two of them, so I'm gonna turn that one off. And that one's off, so if I were to go up, yeah, now I have to re-log because this thing's in the way. It, I actually have to like re-log, and I'm lagging a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna turn everything down to low, because I'm running like 4 RSC clients right now, and some 07, because I'm a gamer girl, or a gamer guy. Oh, you can't turn those tips off though, it's gonna get really obnoxious. Alright, so I am currently playing as a regular player, I'm not gonna be playing as an Iron Man, because I wanna, I want this, I wanna access, sorry, access, the uh, the exchange, the GE. Alright, some more settings I need to toggle off, hang on, I need to change that, uh, transparency. Somewhere around here. Alright, here we go, it's interference. Alright, so that one's fully transparent, I don't want, tra I don't want transparency. Okay, so that one's done, I have to re-log to get this shit out the way. Alright, so what I want to also touch on is, I, since I am, sorry, my client's a little bugged, because I need a, this is an event, so to speak, with the, um, Alright, we're back. So that was one of the event things, and it gave me this shit. Oh, that's just because I got the, um, the premiere, which was pretty cool. Proteins were not in the game. Umbro pack, I'm curious as what this is, because I bought the premiere. I want to see what it is. Oh, that's cool. Huh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, wow, that's really OP. I'm not gonna use that, though. That's pretty cool, though. Alright, so... I want to make it clear, I will not be trading on this account, okay? I have the GE, but I will not be trading. And G GE manipulation, I don't think you can do. Um, where you sell from one account and buy from the other. That's, like, really hard, and I don't know how to do that, so... That's not gonna happen, and... What is that? Oh, my God. Oh, no, I can't get it out of my bank now. Or out of my inventory. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I just need to open these. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I, I, I actually got lose a lot of stuff. Wait, where am I? Turn off the yells. So I gained 10... T oh no, what a waste. I'll, I'll keep these for now. Okay, so what I want to do... I actually have 702 gold. I'm going to take that out. Alright, I'm going to put that out. It's misery. So, we are currently in Birthorp. And we are not in Edgeville or um with Lumbridge. We can actually get there, but I w what I first want to do is try and make some money. Um just around maybe five hundred gold somewhere around there. And what I really want to do is unlock the neighboring um lodestones. Okay. So these actually sell for a lot on the GE. Like these raw rabbits. You can make a lot of big starter cash. Like that's seven hundred gold right there, but they can probably be incredibly scaled down. Um, but we'll we'll just do this for now and see what we can get. All right, nice. So we almost have a full inventory. Actually, I think we do. I need to get rid of these lamps, though. I need to put on something useless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone, but I'm gonna do it. Something that's useless that I won't ever use. I can't put on herbla because I need to start. Oh my god, I can. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It the it lamps at very low levels is really bad. So I got that out the way. This is the event that I'll be doing. I will be doing the event because events were a thing in RS2. Um, but, let us get started. I need to find a way to get the Edrill. What is this? I didn't know that was here. Cool. Here are my challenges. 
There were not challenges in ORS2 though, so I won't be doing those. I'll try not to do them. I probably just won't. Alright, uh, yeah, I won't. Alright, so what I did not actually look at before was that I was gaining some defense experience. Luckily, it was only 5 at a time, which was like 2 in all stats, but, or kind of. Um, but yeah, so... I will be trying to make this as much of a pure as I possibly can. Is that guy 138? Of course he is. Because my... Where am I? Previous accounts were pures. And it was mostly like the 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 OG 39 defense main pure. Where we were all 111 combat. Out of 126. Alright, well. What was it? One... 121 combat, there we go, with 99 summoning. Ugh, that was the OG. Alright, but yes, I will be going... Where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna teleport to Lumbridge, and then I'm gonna make my way, I'm gonna do some quests over there. Uh, Cook's assistance, and then I will be... Where is this? This is dungeoning, so I'm gonna get the ring. And the boat to Lumbridge, if you spawn into Avalon, which you most likely will, it's right here, you just click it and you click a few options that say yes I want to go there you know because the tutorial island is essentially birth up right now and so yeah that's just for elite dungeon you don't need to worry about that because I won't either because I've never done it before we're gonna get the ring and train some stats up um, I'm gonna try and knock out some quests real quick and this is the one of the iconic representatives of RS3 uh, where's the tutor guy all right we got the ring good now, let's go to the GE. I need to go back to Tavoli. So this is the Lodestone Network. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, they just move some things around here and there. Uh, so you guys who are unfamiliar with it, now you are somewhat familiar with it. Um, but yeah, let's go activate the Lumbridge. Then we'll go into Alcarid. There is no need for paying gold to enter Alcarid because they changed the quest from Prince Ali Rescue to something... Like, Stolen Hearts or some shit with a dwarf or... Uh, no, it was with Ozon. Which was a pretty cool quest. It's voice active. So it's just like a piercing note. One of my most favorite quests. Especially the OST on that. The song is just so strong. Ooh. Alright, so here it is. We're gonna activate this. And then we're gonna make our way to Alcarid. Teleport back to Lumbridge. Actually, I'm gonna go do the quest real quick. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the quest. It gives me some cooking speed. Alright, so because I started the quest, actually, let me get some of the logs upstairs. Because I started the quest, I have the blue marker on me. And I'm gonna get all these logs right here. With some beginner experience. The loot interface is beautiful. I love the loot interface, so I will be keeping that. It's just very much... It's easier for me to... Just because of how my eyes are. You know, I can't see everything individually. And if I do, I, I, I can't fucking read it. You know? Alright, so now that we started it, I'm gonna get some of the free stuff. Uh, just like how 07 has free stuff. No, I'm kidding. I can't compare it to 07, but... RS3 also had free stuff. I mean, RS2 had free stuff. Remember with the runes? So now I have the daggers. I have dual wielding. Now I can access dual wielding abilities, such as Havoc. Right? You see the 2x? That means that I require two items that are both offensive. It cannot be defensive, such as shields. Alright, so as you can see, there used to be a gate here, but there is no more gate. Alright, here's the glider. We're gonna go all the way southwest. Oh, classic man. Oh my god, wait, he's level 2, 4, what the fuck? Where is the, uh, it's supposed to be around here. And there's also resting. You cannot tell me that you did not miss resting. Instead, they wanted to in put in, a uh, um, graceful to, repl to replace resting, which I am against. Resting was one of the one very small element of RuneScape 2 that I really loved, and I was hoping that they would implement into RS-07. Uh, so we have this one done. We can go to Varaki easily, just from running north, but I want to go through the Drainer real quick. Because Drainer unlocks lots of things that I like, which is the... whatchamacallit? The, 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 the... Ernest the Chicken, and... Uh, Vampire Slayer, which are kind of OP. Magic is actually really strong too, but yeah. But first, I'm gonna do Restless Ghost before I forget. Also, when you complete quests that give 
um, experience. The experience will not toggle automatically. It will not go into you automatically. Instead, it will come out as a lamp. And I'll show you guys after I complete this one. And I need some stats, though, to beat that level 7 zombie. Or ghost, whatever that is. She also gives us a good quest, which is the blood pact or something like that. And I'm going to change the look of these quests. So you go into the quest through the settings. You want to change the area to alphabetical. And that looks old school. Okay. Yep. Just like so. There's, there's a lot of quests in here, guys. Also, want to show you guys something real quick. They replaced the um, the sheep's den, okay, with this area, which is a very familiar for Lumbridge players, for new players. So, if you're looking to start thieving, you want to start it right here. I think you can do this at level one, not level two. Okay, so you need to find a man to thieve. There's usually a man floating around here somewhere. Okay, these are men, right? I just saw him, what the fuck? Oh, that was a guard. Dude, where- wait, what? Oh, here he is. Okay, so, yeah, you just pickpocket him, and you get to level 2, you do the stall over in that area, and you switch back and forth. It can go per tick. Very similar to the seed loadout at, uh, Hosidius, which is very interesting, I must say. Alright, so I'm just about level 2, and then I'll be getting some food through here, and I'm gonna sell it through- actually, not that one right there i'm gonna sell it into the ge as well with some money now this was not in rs2 but you know it's thieving i'm not gonna stick to the rs2 methods because that's really stupid but i will be playing the game as if it were rs2 you know does that make sense all right so i want to stay here until five but i really want to get some of the quests started so that i can access the conjunction quest method through um you know, Varrock and whatnot. Varrock, uh, Birth Up, um, Draenor, etc, etc. Alright, so I wanna, I wanna show you guys real quick. Look at this quest line right here. So this is the old M Catcher from 2001, and it was replaced by a newer version of the quest, okay? And it's also voice activated, but, you know, I just wanna put that out there, you guys. The game has changed, and some of the content will be different, but I will be trying to ma make it as if it were RS2, okay? So these quests that, you know, were heavily influenced in RS2, you know, or heavily, um, just done a lot in RS2, right? I still will have to, con uh, somewhat do them. Alright, but we just got the Draenor, except I'm, I'm lagging. Oh my god, the, the loading on that is so lame. Where the frick are you, Morgan? Alright, so now that I'm here by Veronica, guess what on the minimap? Fuck off. Please, stop. So, I am currently right here. We can travel into Varrock this way. There is a opening right here, and there's a bridge right here, believe it or not. There's also a bridge over here, so they have added this in, which I like, and I will be using. Alright, I'm just literally putting it out there. Once again, I'm only playing for the true experience of RS2, not some bullshit like, Oh, that bridge was in an RS2. What are you doing? Restart the series, you dumb bitch. Also, I want to also, uh, also, 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 okay, I'm just going to include that the chinning method of training range has been changed dramatically. Um... Because chinning can go with abilities, it's a little odd. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm gonna go to the GE. And I'm gonna see if I can purchase a ring of wealth. It's probably like 11k, 13k, somewhere around there. And, uh, yeah. For those of you who are wondering what this is, it's just a, an, it's an invitation to the Thieves Guild and the quest. So, I'm just gonna toss it out. Actually, I think I- oh, wait, I- wait, what? Okay, let's do this. Um, basics. Let's go to the bank, and we're gonna... Actually, you know, I could have just teleported here through the, uh... Firecracker. A Christmas cracker. Watch. <laughs> I have to teleport, and it teleports me right there. Yeah, right here. And I can add it. So this is just like the Haiti event where you got, like, that weird thing. Actually, I should have kept one. Oh, shit. Whatever. It's a level one construction. So I'm gonna sell everything that I have right now. I'm gonna sell all that. I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna try and sell that. And the rest won't sell. Now I want to see how much I can get from this. 7k? 20k. Okay, not gonna happen. Of course. Look how much logs are there. 400 gold? That has to go through. No? Dagger? 1.5k? Nope. Okay, potatoes? I'm trying to sell. Okay, that went through. Very good. Tomatoes obviously would go through. 
onions, garlic, cabbages. I you don't need the cabbage anymore though for the uh, Black Knight's Fortress. Believe it or not, I'm gonna resell that. Uh, okay, let's go down to 15k. Okay, that definitely sold. Nice. So we have Ring of Wealth. I'm actually not gonna get the Ring of Wealth. I'm gonna try and get a armor set. Which will be bronze, because I can't wear iron, because I'm 1 defense. They made iron 10 defense, I think. Or 5. They made it into a tier different than bronze. Also, I think other people might be wondering, I will be using the treasure hunter. I will, I'm sorry, but what the fuck is that? What was that? Alright, I'll, I'll collect that later, after I do my uh, thing. So this is a, a thing that... Th these are slayer masks that are... Um just akin to their um monsters but anyways so i am gonna do taurus trap for the uh, agility experience now i think you guys are gonna be like hey man why are you using uh that shit right and the reason why is because not because it was specifically an rs2 but i'll only be using the experience okay i want this i don't want to train like it was rs2 but i just want to experience the content okay training i'm fucking tired of training i have made over 30 accounts i'm tired of this shit um just an additional uh fast forward thing i what's gonna say i don't know what i was gonna say but i'm gonna go back to this rabbits and farm some more um of their uh meat so that i can afford some more stuff nice how much did this give me holy sh i killed 20 of one over oh my god Actually, I think I'm gonna swap to the legacy combat mode for this farming route because I can one-shot all these guys But the fact that you see how when I'm performing the abilities I have to channel some of them And it gets really obnoxious So I'm gonna swap real quick To do that you go to settings into legacy turn off legacy. I mean turn on legacy combat mode Okay, so now I don't have revolution, but I should be able to one-shot everything now or at least faster. Yeah, I'm just poking them nice all right so so apparently your full inventory nearly got me 20,000 gold so i'm very hyped at that i'm gonna try and get 100k and then i'll see what i can do after i want to try and do some mining quests like dorix but then dorix is very long because they changed dorix quest again and made it an actual nightmare to do for fast mining experience so i don't know what i i don't know what i can do i'll try my best and progress the account as least taxing as I possibly can because of how they changed their, just the quest and everything which I'm, I'm okay with they had to do something to keep the game going but just I don't I don't want to say this is the best way but hi I'm back I also want to talk about the the protein methods of skilling right so there's protein methods I'm not gonna be using those skilling already is enjoyable but it's taxing at the same time but i don't want to use like the portables either because i won't need them because i'm capping the content of this game at godwars dungeon one next hurricane for the onyx farming right glacors for the boots right i won't need like the extensive methods of both combat gear and training because that's just a little overboard right it, it's it's unnecessary both in the sense of um, RS2, right? And then it's unnecessary in the sense of just experience. You know, I just want to say that I'm really excited for this series, both in the sense that I'm doing it, and I can show all communities, both 07, RS3, and RS2 previous, you know, nostalgic lovers, right? That the game can still be enjoyed without the need of RS3, right? Because my Zerker on this game is actually level 50 defense and my stomach just grumbled and it's still grumbling oh my god just stop um defense obviously got teared up and you can't use black chaps either for peers so i'm gonna have to deal with that for this account but the game is not as bad as people think all right it really isn't you don't have to play the game to the full extent of what it was given right so for 07 for me personally i have like 12 accounts on 07, but I s never touched raids, and I never touched TOB, right? I only kept to the stuff that I liked, 
right? And, you know, players can play like that, you know, the days of efficiency aren't always gonna be there. Especially during break. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Like, I don't know if it's just me, it might just be me, and that's pretty unfortunate that I'm... That it's me only, if it's so, but... Efficiency, like, literally hardcore efficiency, gives me a freaking headache and an anxiety. Just massive anxiety. It's just so, so stupid. I hate it. Like, you know, the feeling is just not enjoyable. And I don't know why, I mean, the thrill of hardcore is that's wonderful, but the thrill of dying, I mean, okay, that, that that's understandable, but just the thrill of having to click a rock 24-7 once every single three seconds. Um, I'm talking about iron power mining, by the way, not RS3 mining. They're kind, kind of the same, except the amount of focus needed is really cancerous. Alright, that is the last inventory done, I believe. Let's get the fuck out and teleport to the GE. Luckily, I have this. If I didn't have this, I would teleport to the lodestone every time and just waste another, like, 3... 30 seconds or something. Probably, like, 10. Alright, but I want to see how much money I can make out of this. Let's see. <laughs> the money. Dude, that took me, like, 10 minutes. Alright, I drop it down a bit, 137k, I made it to 171k, so I am pretty beefy right now, so I can buy a lot of stuff, which I will. Alright, so instead of getting the agility, because the only reason why I wanted the agility really is just for this shortcut right here, or wherever the fuck it is right here, somewhere around here, it's a shortcut around here, but I can't find it, there's no actual way, why is there no agility option there? So instead, I want to get my magic to 50 so I can use the portals in my house and I also want to get my construction up so that's gonna cost me a lot of money and I don't know if I can afford all of that right now because both planks are close to like 1k okay no they're 500 so that, that'll be man that'll be manageable I'll also have this thing as well because per paper you gain 70 experience I think or was it 25 somewhere around there um but yeah I will be doing some of the early quests though but I want to get my stats up before I can use the lamps and the reason why is because guess what when you complete a quest you get two free treasure trail keys and each key re equates to a treasure box and if you get a treasure box that's good you can get multiple lamps out of one key let's put it that way okay and uh <clears throat> any of the um tradables i won't be selling i'll just be dropping all right i won't be trading by the way to people all right or the ge but i will be selling and buying from the ge does that make sense all right i can go do waterfall real quick so I can get some good gear, at least beginner gear. Um, I need a rope and some other shit. Look at the price of this stuff, it's literally insane. Oh my goodness, you mean buy? Holy shit. Oh my god, for twice the price, it doesn't even buy. Okay, okay, that's a money maker right there. Bracelet of clay. I can buy some of those. And once I get the construction level up, I'll be able to make my own clay. I need 40 crafting to enter the crafting guild, and then I'll be able to get some clay. Um, what can I do with clay? I'm trying to remember how I make the clay. I... Do I need gems for that? Alright, well, when I get to that jump, I will do that, or whatever it's called. I don't know what the phrasing. But anyways, so yeah, I'm teleporting to the Vrak. And I will be going northeast to Aubrey. This is the faster method, I believe, to get to the rune store. And I think I'll be good. I don't think I need to get any food. Actually, they can one-hit me, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna enter the, um, ability bar sequence again. I'm actually really, really excited for this account. I'll be able to minimize... Um, my gear tremendously by staying on defense. At least for now. I'll progress into the uh, 30 defense later. I want to try and get my magic up a bit. I want to do Witch's Quest as well. Or Witch's House, whatever the fuck it's called. And yes, yeah, so we have this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Should be good. Oh, do I have any food? I don't have food. I have a pie. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to get a. First, I need to get back into my legacy mode, or unlegacy mode. And it should automatically swap to magic. Yeah. Which is good. It'll automatically swap the first uh, combat styles. So if I use range, it'll swap into an, an ability bar for range. 
Yeah. Okay. Alright, because I have such a small amount of money, I'm going to get the Fremenic area unlocked and put Serum unlocked so I can buy my feathers there. Because if you buy them off the GE, they are tremendously more expensive, right? Watch, that's like 30 gold or something like that? 11. Actually, they're not that bad. This is perfect, actually. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought they were 50, but apparently not. Anyways, I have plenty of feathers now. I can fletch my own stuff and easily tackle Taurus Trap. I just need 20 smithing as well. Do I- wait, what? I- wait, what? I need 20 smithing. Oh, you need 20 smithing to make the freaking dart. I keep forgetting. It's okay. It's okay. I had the red berry fly. I just need some mining so I can get the blurite easily. Alright, sick. I remember now. Plague City. Let's do that real quick. Easy. Alright, yeah, Nile is done. Beautiful. Let me fuck in there. And I'm gonna go... I don't think I can start hand in the sand. I don't remember. Yeah, I can't. It's gonna be quite a pain in the boat. Hey. But I will get some material. I think she sells me flour and milk. No milk, but I have the dust. Actually, I have too much. I want another one of those. Thank you. Oh my god, I just ate a freaking cabbage. So the cabbage method, I will be using this to get my first couple levels for farming so I can do the guam method after. And then I'm going to buy a bunch of buckets from the lady over here wait and so i can get some milk and the milk will be used greatly for uh, temple trekking later actually I'm, i might not just go the iron man route i don't have to go the iron man route i keep forgetting because i'm not an iron man on this account which is great very very good yeah i got that now nice let's go to um Go to Catherbay yet? No, I can't. Okay, I'll just go over there. I'll go to the western side of the map first and then knock out Plague City. 